Hey there, welcome to Force One Studios, or Lily, or actually you should say welcome to Lily's Pad, brought to you by Force One Studios. I am your host, Thomas Lily. Anyway, I am uh, sitting here trying to do some work, and I figure I better get this live stream done. It's been a busy, busy, hectic day. This is going to be a short stream today. I'm trying to uh, make this happen on a regular basis. So you will be seeing me, hopefully... I'll be doing this Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, but I am trying to, you know, I said this is new to me, and I'm trying to get this done. Um, anyway, as the description says, I'm going to be talking about the pains and woes of trying to do this. I mean, this is all new to me. Wow, the world is changing. Updated technology, and I don't know what I'm doing. Trying the best I can. I uh, watched a lot of YouTube streams and um, Twitch streams, Instagram, Instagram streams, mostly uh, some jerk mongo, jerk monger, um, Doug to Naple, Brian Shear. I've been start, started watching them lately through jerk monger. He's the one that's actually introduced me to them, and there are some others on there that I'm just starting to get it to. But I mean, not enough time in the day to watch everybody. So anyway, um, I, you see here on my table what I'm working on is actually uh, um, thumbnails roughs of uh, a female character. She's going to be one of the main characters in the story I'm working on. Uh, hopefully you'll be seeing this come out soon. The story is called Solomon's Temple. I am trying to flush all the details out. I'm working on the script right now. And... Uh, it's a story I've been working on, or idea, a concept I've been working on for 20 years. A lot of stuff up in here, trying to put it all down in paper. Um, it's going to be a, one book in a larger series of books. It's going to—I I don't want to give out the title of the larger series because it's going to like if the sub, I used to say the subtitle of the book is going to be Solomon's Temple, but it's going to be blah blah Solomon's Temple. And then the next series of book, the next book after that is going to be blah blah so and so. The next book will be that blah blah so and so. But uh, yeah, this Solomon's Temple deals with the main character. His name is uh, Colin. He is one in a long line of a single soldier army. I guess you could say uh, um, army of God, but it's a single soldier, and uh, he picks up the mantle of Temple. And that's where the term Solomon's Temple comes from. But anyway, um, in this, you know, as I said in this story right now, what I'm trying to work on is how I flush out how I want Asia. This A-A-S-I-A, -A or I-Asia, or A-Asia, -A Asia. I'm trying to figure out how it's pronounced. But I looked up, a term, you know, how I came up with that name is I looked up a lot of uh, Middle Eastern names, the meaning, the you know, Middle Middle Eastern women, because she is from the Middle East. She is, uh, um, her father is also, uh, or I should say, not her father, her, her mentor, or the person who protected her is from the Middle East as well. And uh, not Colin. Colin comes in this, it, he just, he, his mentor is from the Middle East as well. That's the same gentleman that raised her. Anyway, um, I'm still working on all the finer details of the story, but it's, and I'm trying, not, and the thing is, I'm trying not to give it all away. I mean, I, just, I want people to pay, obviously buy the book to find out the story. I don't want to tell the whole story <laughs> over the tune, you know, over it says, well, thanks, Mr. Lilly. Uh, we don't have to buy your book anymore because, uh, well, <laughs> you told us the whole story. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, but, um. Yeah, Asia. She's going. She's uh in this story. She's basically a scribe. I'll tell you that much. She's a scribe, and uh, what I mean by scribe is, in the, the temple that are required, in my story. To write down or keep a ledger of all the events 
of everything that happened to them so that they're the people that follow them like you just say it could say or their um uh, how is it is it predecessors or um inheritors <laughs> Yeah, I mean, in my older age, I'm starting to forget a lot of these a lot, a lot of these fancy words. But I guess you say um, everybody takes up the mantle behind them, knows what's going on. It's kind of like a ledger. Helps them fight the good fight, fight the battle against the evil forces. And those evil forces are mystical forces, not human forces. There are constantly being told that the religious wars outside of what they're do out of what's outside of what they are doing has nothing to do with them they are not to get involved they are not fighting over their over their religious convictions they are fighting a war for god against an evil mystical force that is trying is to say that's part of a greater evil of uh, Lucifer and they are fighting the good fight a fight that the human race doesn't know is going on to preserve the innocence of man what innocence is left anyway I mean let's face it we're not exactly the most innocent creatures <laughs> but uh I guess you could say the innocent enough of the innocence to prevent their souls from becoming forever lost. So anyway, let's say I'm working out the uh, look, Asia's look here, and uh, trying my best to make her look more more Middle Eastern. I'm trying to show respect to all faiths and all ideology. Me, I am I am a Christian. But um this story is gonna you know, the uh the story is gonna represent three spe specific faiths. I mean there's gonna be others in relates in there at some point, but um the three that will be that you know are um Islam Christianity and Hindu or not Hindu, <laughs> Hebrew. Sorry, sorry, my Jewish brothers and sisters. The Hebrew, and basically what they what they're referred to in this uh, story as the uh, the children of a of Abraham. They're the children of Abraham. All the children of God of Abraham. But anyway. But in the story, they refer they refer to the three faiths as the children of Abraham. <clears throat> in this day of political correctness, I'm a, I am a little bit worried that I'm going to offend some people, and I'm trying to do the best I can not to. Because hey, if you're not um. Looking out for everybody, people want to hang you up. And, uh, not one viewer so far. That doesn't surprise me. It's usually about what I end up with, because as I said, I am so new at this, so green. Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> I am the, not even a guppy, I'm a baby guppy. Guppy's baby in the big fish world with all the sharks. I'm hoping that I will build a following because that is ultimately the goal here, is it not? Build a following so that I might have a successful campaign. I want people involved. I want people to, to want to buy my book. And so this is just one. I got one here where she's actually picking up, picking up a sword. Generally, doesn't happen because she is, as I said, she's a scribe. Um, Abraham, 
the original temper, temple, the, or not the original temple, the uh, predecessor, the, the temple, yeah, temple before Colin is, uh, is, is the one that made her a scribe. And what she is assigned to do, or was assigned to do before Colin came along, she was assigned to uh, actually be his scribe. To, uh, and I do apologize, give me one moment. Um, just trying to get this all worked out. And. Anyway, but um, she was taught. She was assigned by. She was assigned by Carl by uh, by uh, Abraham, not Abraham, Abraham, by Ibrahim. Her mentor, her protector, her surrogate father. She was uh, assigned to be his scribe, and then uh. The first ever be to do it that way, because he has a special connection to her. Usually, uh, in the past and currently, the scribes are supposed to be handled, or the the lit, the um, keeping of their journal is supposed to be handled by the temple themselves. But anyway. So let's get on the topic here. The woes and pains of trying to do this. This is a big jungle. I'm not going to lie. It is hard. I don't know what I'm doing. I am scrambling to try to figure out how to build a following. I've been on YouTube or on Instagram for a while. And I've only got 222 followers right now. And I've been on there for a while, and I've wondered if maybe my art is not good enough. But I see that my art is—I mean, people are telling me I'm good. I get, you know, I do a lot of sketching, and a lot of the stuff that you see on my previous artwork, believe it or not, is just sketches because of the nature of a job that I'm currently employed at. Or that is my employer is um, SEPTA, and it demands a large amount of my day large amount of my hours um, and then trying to also have it so it doesn't affect my family I'm also uh, excuse me I am also trying to uh, make sure that I spend equal amount of time and keep my uh, wife happy because happy wife makes a happy life and uh, make sure my I'm an active part of my children's life I have three sons, a 19, 18, and a 14-year-old, and they don't have much more time with me, and I'm realizing that. I mean, when I was when when I was younger, I spent so many hours working, so so many hours working that I was not an active part of their youth. My wife was a stay-at-home mom, so that we wouldn't have strangers raising our children. And I, I willingly accepted that. My wife begrudgingly accepted that, and she did the same. You know, sometimes she feels she might have made a mistake giving up her career. You know, she sees other people who, uh, who, uh, who um, didn't do so, and they have you know their. have successful careers she wonders if she made a mistake in doing what she does and I can't fault her for that I cannot remember it was a decision we made a while ago and it is sometimes wonder we wonder if it was a wise decision but I think long term I think we're both seeing that uh, we have a better relationship with our children with our sons because of it so it has helped us in certain ways our sons talk to us more than I, w I think I hear other parents. I mean, they let us in on their personal life. And 
make us aware of what's going on more than other parents yeah you know I mean and we've always cultured that please we'd rather you talk to us we're not promising that we you know you won't get in trouble but the trouble but the punishment might be up far less than finding out after everything happened that uh you know and you know it might have far less consequences because we might know how to fix it anyway uh as i said um right now what i'm dealing with is trying to figure out how to get m more people interacting with me uh i'm a nobody really for real nobody i have a lot of friends that are that are known in the industry well i like to consider them friends anyway but they have um they they have success but they've they've worked hard for it and you know they've put in their dues and here i come along i'm like oh, i want i want to try and do this i want to try and be successful but i'm trying to figure out how to do this and i'm not sure how i can i'm struggling with this because i'm trying to figure out see again i, I work for a company that doesn't doesn't want to hear about personal life doesn't want to hear about personal things i'm part of a union and as a part of a union time off is done by seniority and so I'm, when i what that comes down to is, is like like i've been with septa right now for seven years or almost eight years and um the truth there's yes seven and a half i guess or close to, yeah i guess that's right seven and a half anyway um i've been with them for a while now and even after all this time this year was the first time I was able to get a summertime vacation. The first, very first time I was able to get a summertime vacation since I've been working for SEPTA. And I was actually told before this by one of my union reps that I'll be lucky to see a summertime vacation by my 18th year. But and the only reason why I think, I believe the only reason why I got a summertime vacation this year and the end of July, beginning of August, is because uh, is because I I'm on rails and uh, not bus. If I was on bus, I'm still looking at a January, February vacation, March, maybe might be able to squeeze in May. But that again, that that comes very rare. But, uh, man, I really wish I had more interaction here because. I want to find out what people think of, especially this. I mean, do you guys like it? What do you let, you know? What do you think? Um, I might start doing. Just, I, yesterday, I did a thing on Instagram. I was on there for about an hour, and I'm about ready to wrap this up because I said I have to make this short because I, my kids will be home shortly, and I gotta start making making sure I make dinner, have dinner ready because I still gotta go to work tonight. I got to fold my clothes, my uniforms and stuff. They're in the dryer, and I didn't even get a chance to work on my script today. I let my kittens, I got two cats, kick me out of my uh, my art studio. One of them was sleeping on my that's a stupid excuse. One of them was asleep on my uh, art chair, and the other one was sleeping on my desk. And they were like, no. We want to we, we want to sit here. No, this is our spot. I'm like, no. Finally, I said, no, this is my spot. I got work I got to do. Sorry. So. But. Oh, man. What do you guys think of that picture of Asia? Tell me. I mean... Anyway, 
I guess one part of me doing these streams is I'm hoping to build an audience and I'm hoping to get more people involved. I'm hoping to see more more interaction. Um, I'm not sure how I can pull this off. I mean, I am really at a loss because I was thinking maybe I could go to more comic book conventions, but then that requires me actually having off. And like my scheduled days off for Saturday or Friday and Saturday right now and that can change that will change I shouldn't say can that will change come beginning or middle of June because uh, I already know one guy saw that I got one of my fellow union members saw that I got a Saturday off he's like oh man next time when, next sign up and he's got more seniority than me <laughs> he's like next time I want to make sure I put it for that I didn't realize I could have gotten that and I'm like oh, oh thanks because that was partially my fault. I gave him the idea. And my wife says I, I do that a lot with people. I I uh, tell everybody my idea. Right? And then they go off and do it. And ironically enough, it seems like they have more successful with, success with it than I do. It's like, hey, I have an idea. This is what I want to do when I do my live streams. This is what I want to do. And I all of a sudden, you know. I tell somebody about it, I buy them a piece of equipment, and they're doing it. And they're, at, well, of course, they're already successful, so it doesn't add more success to it. I think it adds more to their program. But yeah, my wife laughed at me. She goes, You told them. You told them your idea, and they took it, and they ran with it. I'm like, Oh, man, you're right. I think that looks like it. Of course, I mean, it's hard to. Hard not to realize that as a Middle Eastern woman with the with the guard with the clothes she's wearing, I guess. I'm just to say, but anyway, um, this is as good. This is Asia. She's going to be one of the main characters in the story. Very important character, and her role as time comes, as the time goes on, you're going to find that is far more important. And far more crucial to the, the entire line. So, but to find out more, you're going to have to read the book. <laughs> you're going to have to get the comic book or get the graphic novel. And I, it's the other thing I'm looking. Yeah, you know, I'm looking to do something different with this graphic novel. I'm hoping something that never hasn't, hasn't been seen in its like, or in this this way before. And We'll see. See how it turns out. And I hope you guys come along and join me for the adventure. Because I really want to wanted to bring this story out for years. I'm not joking when I tell you these characters I've developed I mean, the names have changed a bit. Some sometimes the names changed almost entirely, but it's still the same character. It was the character that I originally came up with an idea four years ago, and even some of their abilities or some of what they what they are has changed. This is molded and adapted with the times, and but I've been working on it, working on this whole concept and this idea for like, oh, God, it's been. Since I was 19, 18, 19 years old. But I am, uh, said I am floundering right now. One man talking to himself. I'm wondering if I really even should be doing live streams because. My start. If I am I, I wonder if I'm putting the cart before the horse. My wife used to it would term term would use that terminology when I years before. I mean I'm nobody knows who I am, and here I am trying to do a live stream. I've done nothing of note, nothing of merit. Do, do, do. 
This is too high. Yeah, we're going to push it back up. There we go. It's not like I've drawn Marvel, drawn any, um, done professionally drawn any Marvel DC characters. I've done um, commissions. I've done commissions for people. I've done a lot of logos. Everybody was just like, can you do this logo for me? I've done a couple t-shirt designs. People have asked me to do their t-shirt designs. But um, to be fair, my friend Chris Gardner, who works for Disney, not, not throwing names, just, but uh, he's also worked for House Industries, but he um, would be very disappointed in me because I charged way too little during this project, doing this project for people. And I was warned when I was in college. I went to college for a short period of time. I couldn't finish it, finish college. But, um, because it was uh, paying for it myself and it was expensive. Anyway, looking back now, I wish I found a way to make it work. But I didn't. Anyway, um, so she says, I put the cart, no, am I putting the cart before the horse? I am beginning to realize that a lot of these artists make this look really, really simple. And it is not as easy as, as it, they make it out to be. Drawing in, having a whole, trying to hold a conversation, especially holding a conversation with yourself. I mean, God, it, it's different if you got people to feed off of, but I've got nobody, I'm not really feeding off anybody here. I'm, by myself, yeah. And my live stream is not really not like I'm blowing up the thing here. I got one person following or one person showing up. It's like showing me is one person viewing. I think that person's me. <laughs> one person viewing. Woohoo! Woohoo! So I'm probably not making this very entertaining either because I don't know. Constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is asked for. I mean, let me know what I can do to make this more entertaining for you. Constructive now. I mean, constructive. Evil harsh words and people telling me, give up, shut up, you suck. Okay, that's not going to work. Oh, is anybody like this? Well, anybody like this? Well, I'll only find out when I try to put the book out. my thumbnail pages. I printed these out. And this is what I use for my thumbnails. I guess it really shouldn't call them thumbnails. My rough roughs. Rough, 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 roughs. Because uh, these are relatively small. But they're not thumbnail small. Not really. Went and taped this little thing on here and try to give myself a little lip so I can rest this on here while I'm talking, while I'm doing this live chat. Anyway, I got about two more minutes. And uh, I hope, I really, really hope that maybe some people will watch this, possibly follow subscribe if you like it yeah 
maybe I needed to start doing some. Somebody suggested a while ago, hey, you should do some instructional stuff. And you know, showing people how to do how to do some of this stuff that might build an audience. I guess I don't know. I guess I could try and do that. But then that would distract me from working on the, this graphic novel. And I don't want to be distracted from that. I'm tired of putting off. I'm trying to do a different look with the. See if I. Yeah, it looks too robust. I'm not really feeling this, this version of her. Well, I don't know. The more I work on it. My YouTube live stream. Nobody chatting with me yet. But that's okay. Might be a little too far back there. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now actually a minute past the time I was going to give myself to do this. I really got to wrap this up. I thank you very, very much for joining me here on Force One Studios. Those of you that watched the video, or those of you who will join it later, obviously I have not really had my, anybody join me now. I do, you know, hope that later on that will change. But anyway, um, I got to stop being so apologetic, I think. I'm starting to sound pathetic and whiny. Mm. That's not good. Anyway, um, I hope that more people will start to follow, start to join me later, start watching my videos. I'm only, I'm going to produce more of these. I have to. I need to. I really need to get a following for my book. I want to get people interested in my story and get them going, get them to like it. And was that way when I start pushing this story on my, um, or so getting this story out. On via either Indiegogo or Kickstarter. There's some people I want to talk to about that and see which which they feel would be the best venue for it. And I will try to get back to it anyway. Try to get the, get put it out on one of those two platforms and let your people see it. But anyway, as I said, thank you very much for joining me. And I've got a rule. Y'all have a nice evening now.